Sal and Rio and Chevy. Hey everyone, welcome back to I Just Watch. It's your boy Joseph, and I'm here to talk Morbius, starring the infamous Jared Leto. Before I get into it, I gotta hit you with the usual, which is hopefully you like this video enough to smash that like button, click the subscribe to stay tuned to see more of our shenanigans, hit the little bell so you get notified when no shenanigans release. Let's talk Morbius, the Spider-Man that is being shared through the Marvel Sony Cinematic Universe spin-off. I don't really care for the character to begin with. Comic-wise, I think his eye, you know, he's an interesting character. Um, he's he's can be a cool character to play with. So I was kind of iffy to begin with. And I think this movie, and I'm probably one of the few and rare people to say, this is I. Like, I didn't think it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. People were saying it was the absolute worst thing they've ever seen. And I was like, eh, I mean, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't the worst thing we've ever seen. I've seen a lot worse, actually, uh, personally. I know, I mean, I don't know personally, but I know from what I've heard, and apparently there's multiple fact-based statements and proof and stuff that Jared Leto in his method acting is a bit of a monster, no pun intended. Um, but, I mean, my dude, my dude's a good actor. Like, I mean, here he's okay. You know, but like everyone goes, yes, okay, Dallas Buyers Club, yeah. But I mean, take that aside of it. Like uh, the little things, I think that's what it's called. That movie to me was yeah, it was boring. Best part about that movie was his character, his his acting, his you know him. I just say that to throw it into this. I think him being cast as Morbius was cool. I'm kind of sad that he didn't have the the accent that Morbius is supposed to have. Uh, visually though, like the, the first three quarter. I mean, visually, basically the whole time. The the way they did the motion, I thought was genius the, with like the with the clothing, so you see that color blur behind them and stuff. I thought that was cool. Like visually, I thought that was stunning. Um, when he like full vampires out, I thought it was cool. It's kind of creepy. Seeing him pl like uh, play with his power was just kind of neat. Try to get an idea for it. Uh, I this movie does have moments where it feels like stuff was cut out, and they didn't go back and like adjust the edit like they deleted it and we're like all right push it forward like fuck it like you know if that makes sense uh one moment in particular is when he's running up the where he's like crawling flying kind of jumping up uh i don't know about all let's say 20 staircases i don't know how many it was but let's say 20 it's a, it's a nice round number it was 20 he's on the rooftop he's trying to escape from the popo and tires gibson who's a regular police man officer the fuzz a detective somehow in a matter of seconds is able to run his ass up these 20 flights of stairs and catch up to the dude who was leaping like stories at a time uh, because he's up top and like the wind hits him and he almost flies but he's never done it before so he kind of freaks out and then he turns around and Tyrese is with a gun like this he's like gotcha sucker he didn't say that but I was just like dude like how in the flying fludoodle did you get up there so fast I feel like there was more I guess that was supposed to happen up there but it was cut out like it just it made, didn't make sense there's moments like that that bothered me a lot Morbius himself like the character design cool the villain I like the villain the first time they meet and they end up fighting in a subway was dope the way they fought the way they moved again I like the the motion of it you know because they were moving so fast uh, you would just see kind of a motion blur but like what they were wearing so you see like the color blur out too it made me think of classic flash like they called him the red street because he was so fast you just see the red line it also added to the effect because i think sometimes you'll see more recent comics when he's flying or moving you'll see that a little bit so I, I like the way that they brought that forward i'm glad that we didn't get the stupid 90s show suction cup thing on his hand yeah. but that being said the final fight was basura <laughs> uh it was morbius getting his ass whooped and then at the very end going like i can talk to bats and then like summoning a horde of bats and then like using them to like crowd homeboy homeboy was like ah so many of them what do i do in my head i was like well can't he do the same i guess it don't matter and then he walks over to him and goes ah and stabs him with this thing that is deadly to vampires and humans and since he's both is extra deadly so he's dead that's how it ends and then homegirl, I apologize, I don't know her name, but his love interest slash, like, co-scientist 
wakes up because she's also now a vampire because of him. But like this movie started off okay. The concept was neat. It's just very messy. And then what it needed was a good climactic fight scene to make you be like, all right, it fucking lost that. And then, okay, so I, we got the references to Venom. That's from the trailer. That's still in the movie. The uh, Daily Bugle, still in the movie. The end credit scenes. Uh, really, Michael Keaton's The Vulture shows up in jail, and they're like, this man showed up in jail. Where is he from? Ah. So they let him out. Uh, but... In the next scene, he shows up, and he has exact... Like, I think the color was, like... The suit was... his the same vulture suit. The exact same vulture suit. Except I think the glow, like, in his eyes or something was different. Excuse me. It, I think, like, the the, the glow, like the lights in the suit itself were... I uh, got a different hue, a different color. But it made me question, like, where where did he get the suit? Like, because that suit was made by the Tinker using uh, uh, Shatari parts from Avengers. And... Ultron pieces and you know what I mean like stuff from that that don't exist here but like Venom exists but we know that in the Venom universe n nothing else exists I mean but Morbius now and Vulture but then he also tells him like I want to fight Spider-Man Morbius is like yeah let's go do it and I'm like but you don't know who who that is do you I don't think so <laughs> so it was just it meant it didn't really make sense I don't know, it just didn't really make sense. It also didn't make sense, like, in my head. Because it, it's the whole No Way Home thing. Like, okay, you know who... If you know Peter Parker, Spider-Man, you showed up in No Way Home, basically. But my thing is, why, how did the Vulture show up over here if no one knows who Spider-Man... Because Spider-Man, to us, doesn't exist. So, I guess maybe Peter Parker exists, but he's not Spider-Man? I don't know. I don't know. The credit scenes were retarded. Um... Overall, the movie was, eh, was okay. Like, am I, would I go, like, watch it again in theaters? <laughs> no. Um, as David loves to say, if it's on TV and I'm fucking cleaning or something, I'll just leave it on. And don't, I'm going to focus when they do that fight scene in the middle with the at the train station and stuff. And after that, I'm probably going to move on with my life. But um, I just really don't think it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't think it was good by any means. Uh, but I definitely, I mean, I've seen worse. God, I've seen worse. But uh, I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns down below. Uh, have you seen this movie? You're going to see it. Did you like it? Do you care for it? Um, why'd you hate it? If you hate it. If you loved it, why'd you love it? Let me know down below. Uh, like I said, comments, questions, concerns, requests. Hit me with them because I miss y'all. Uh, but until next time, stay tuned and stay well. Be safe. I said that backwards. <laughs> Adios.